Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Now as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be another makeup stash video. Um, today we're going to be going into some more of my lip products. So I recently just did my lip liner collection. I'll link that video down below for you guys to watch along with all my other makeup stash videos. If you guys are unfamiliar with this uh, like series on my channel, it's basically where I pick a part of my makeup and go through it with you guys. Um, it's just instead of you know, um, before I do like a whole makeup collection storage, you know, like um, beauty space like tour, um, I really wanted to do a makeup stash series where I go into detail on each section of my makeup collection because I feel like in a makeup collection video I couldn't really get into detail and talk about each and every product. But in this way I'm separating each part of my makeup so I can really get into detail about each product. Um, so I've done like foundations, concealers, uh, highlight, blush, bronzer, you know, just a ton um, of different uh, sections of my makeup. I've done eyeshadows um, and everything like that. And I wasn't going to do lip products, but you guys really wanted to see it. So we did lip uh, liners already. And today we're going to be doing part one of my lipsticks. Um, I have a ton of lipsticks, guys. I have so, so many. Like, as you can see, back there is all lipsticks. Um, and then I have a drawer full of lip products. So today we are going to be going through um, like half-ish of my lipstick collection. And um, yeah, so let's just get started. So in this drawer right here is where I keep all the other lip products that aren't on top of my desk. So this right here is full of lipstick. So we're probably just going to go through this thing right here and then in part two we're going to go through everything that's actually sitting on top of my bin so i'm just going to take out that container i just showed you guys this is actually like a box from like a perfume set i got or something i don't know i always use any type of little box or container i can find to store my um makeup products and this was just one of them and it stores all these lipsticks that i don't um display really nicely I have two lipsticks from the Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate lipstick line. Um, I have the shade 08, which is actually such a beautiful mauve nude shade. This is actually such a pretty lipstick. I should be using it more because it's gorgeous. Um, and then I have the shade 30, which is such a gorgeous like raspberry shade. As you can see right here, um, the formula of these Kate lipsticks are actually really good from Rimmel and um, I do like them. They do have like a pretty strong like lipstick scent, um, but if you can get over that, the formula is nice. And then I have one of the Lasting Finish by Kate lipsticks, but these are their like matte line and these are just like red packaging. And I have the shade 111 Kiss of Life and this is just a perfect red lipstick. This used to be like one of my favorite red lipsticks. It's super creamy and super pigmented. Um, these Rimmel lipsticks are good, but I just never really got into them like some of the other lines of lipsticks that I try out. I also have just a regular lasting finish lipstick and this is in the shade Pink Blush. I rarely use this shade just because it's not really the most flattering on me. Like frosty pink shades like this I don't really, um, you know, like lean towards. I don't really know why I have it. But um, yeah, I just don't really use it. And then this one right here is their Moisture Renew lipsticks. Um, and this is in the shade 705 Let's Get Naked. And this lipstick I used to use so, so much and I really need to start using it now, um, like for summer and stuff. It's just a perfect nude, but it has like this really pretty coral undertone to it. It's gorgeous, super moisturizing, perfect for summer, um, really fresh and pigmented and just really, really flattering on the lips. So I highly recommend these Rimmel Moisture Lipsticks and I do want to try out more. Okay, I have two lipsticks from Revlon and again, Revlon was never really a line that I really got into their lipsticks. I know a lot of people love them, but to me, I just feel like there are better lipsticks out there. Um, you know, these are really like OG lipsticks, but I feel like as... You know the years keep going by and makeup brands are releasing new things i feel like like milani and maybelline and wet n wild and other brands like that are just coming out with a better lipsticks than revlon but i do have these two shades right here this is in the shade certainly red and this is a gorgeous red shade i must admit this is a super gorgeous red shade i just don't use it that much since i have so many other red lipsticks and then i have this one in the shade black cherry and i actually don't like this lipstick i feel like it's very patchy when you actually apply it and this is a very vampy lip um, and it like I feel like it bleeds everywhere and gets really messy so I just reach for other things. I have one lipstick from NYX and this is uh, in the shade 640 um, and this is just like a nice pinky 
pinky shade. I don't know. I don't really have much to say about this. It's not like the best, but it's not bad or anything like that. I have one shade from the brand Unique, and this was something I didn't really like, but I do keep it around for reference. This is in the shade Ritzy, and this, again, is one of those frosted lipsticks, which, of course, I don't, um, you know, tend to wear. It has, like, these gold flakes in it. Um, but I did try it out just for the formula and honestly I did not like the formula. It didn't apply very evenly or anything like that, but I do like the packaging of this lipstick. Um, I do have two lipsticks from L'Oreal and I don't even know if they make these shades anymore, but this one's right, this one right here is in the shade Burgundy. I just feel like the L'Oreal formula is nice, but, um, I just feel like there's other formulas out there that I enjoy more. And then I have the shade Mauve, and this again is one of those frosty pinks which I don't know I have so many of in here but as you can tell I don't really use them um but yeah we have a ton of lippies from wet n wild I love wet n wild lipsticks and I do have quite a few of them just because the formula of these is amazing and their color selection is amazing I kind of want to like just go out and buy all of them because they're gorgeous if you guys want like a lip swatch of the shades I have I will be very happy to do that for you guys I have the shade just peachy and this is as the name suggests, this is just like a peachy nude. Um, I have the shade Bare It All, and this is the shade I use the most. I love this lipstick. Like, it's probably one of my top five favorite lipsticks out of my whole collection, so that says something. I have the shade Mauve out of here. Super nice, like, mauve shade. Um, I have the shade Sandstorm. It's more of a warm tone nude. As you can see, these are super pigmented. I have the shade In The Flesh. So right there these are so creamy they have like a matte um kind of essence to them this one is think pink and it's a bright pinky nude um and then we have wine room i have mochalicious which is actually the shade i'm wearing right now it's like a brown um nude lipstick and then we have cherry bomb which is a deep maroon shade so I love those Wet n Wild lipsticks. They're super inexpensive and one of the best formulas I've ever tried. I have a lipstick from Estee Lauder and this is in the shade Copper Glow. It's a really pretty shade. Um, it's right here since it's just a nude copper shade. I have three lipsticks here from NYC. I have the shade Blossom and as you can see that's a super frosty uh, pink. And then I have the shade uh, Chiffon and this is a very light frosty shade. And then I have the shade uh, Violet Shine. Um, if you're looking for like a very like, you know, shiny metallic lipstick, I would go with these. They're not the absolute best, but for the price, you can make them work. Um, they're just not my favorite like type of like look to wear. I have one MAC lipstick and this is in the shade Angel. Again, I'm not actually the biggest fan of this. That's it right there. It's a nice um, like pinky shade. I think it's a beautiful shade and could look really great on a lot of people. I just honestly, in my opinion, um, it's good, but I just have better lipsticks that I use more like my Milani and Maybelline and even Wet n Wild. I just reach for those more because I do like the formula um, more over this, but um, it's still a nice lipstick. All right, I have some Essence lipsticks here, and these are just from their, like, regular line of lipsticks. Um, the first shade right here is from their Nude line, and this is in the shade Cool Nude. This is one of my favorite lipstick shades of all time. I'm going to start swatching on the other hand here. Look at that. It's such a beautiful, mauve cool tone nude shade, and it's such a nice, like, moisturizing, um, like, formula. I have the shade Barely There, and this is another nude shade, and this is just from their regular line of lipsticks. You can see how pretty that is right there. And then the shade On the Catwalk is right here, and this is just a red tone um, color. Then we have uh, Natural Beauty, and this is a really pretty pinky tone nude shade. Um, and then the last shade I own from the regular Essence lipstick line is Wears Berries. And this is a toned down like purpley shade as you can see right there. If you're kind of afraid to wear a purple color, you can definitely go with something like that. Okay, we just have some lipsticks from Maybelline and then we are done with part one of my lipstick collection. Um, I'm going to go over the lipsticks I have from their Blooms line. The first shade I have is Coral Burst and this is a super electric coral shade very pretty for the summertime and then we have the shade rose rush and this is more of a 
red orange um, neon shade that's it right there and then the last shade I have from that collection is lilac flush and this is a like baby purple neon shade I don't even know how to describe it it's just like a lilac neon really really unique and beautiful for summer I have two shades from their electric line and they do have different caps I don't know why they changed them but this one is shocking coral and this is such a like neon coral shade look at that I'm so excited to wear that this summer and then I have the shade vivid rose and this is a hot pink lipstick like beautiful I do have more Maybelline lipsticks but those are being displayed on my vanity so I will go through those in part two of my lipstick collection this was just one part of my lipsticks and I have a ton of lipsticks so stay tuned for um the part two where I go through all the other lipsticks and I'm all swatched up guys like I'm full of lipstick swatches so that means we've come to an end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed part one of my lipstick collection let me know down below if you want to see part two and if you want to see like my lip glosses and liquid lipstick collection I would love to film those videos for you guys so let me know and I hope you guys are having a great day please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye guys